Namuku, the food is ready. What took you so long? I'm sorry, ma'am. Just trying to prepare the dish well. Save it. Don't you ever starve me before giving me breakfast. Do you understand? Namuku, I'm sorry. If you say that sorry again, you will leave this house. Don't be angry, Namuku. I'm sorry. What is this nonsense? Like, what is this? Namuku is a uh, spaghetti, well garnished with boiled eggs. I know boiled eggs are your favorite, so I prepare them for you. <laughs> it's fine. You should have asked me for making this thing. Hey. I want fried eggs. Ah, uh, But I know before now, it's boiled eggs you will like a lot. And this is the last egg in the Don't house. Don't you have ears? I said I want fried eggs. There's no other egg in the house. Except if I have to rush to the market to get eggs. I want fried eggs! I want fried eggs. And get it for me now. Now! Okay, Nemuku, I'll rush to the market and get some eggs and fry for you. Uh, but, Nemuku, I can also fry this one. If we fry it, it will be very delicious. Boiled and fried. You will like it. You also pound it, huh? You will pound the eggs. I'm sorry. Let me get eggs. I'll come back. See, 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 see. Hey, what are you leaving this thing for? Uh, me. Clear it now. Okay, let me get it. Uh, give, give, give me egg, egg. Give me egg. Well, uh, I don't have egg. You don't have egg. Uh, my egg has finished. Hmm. Yeah. Why would I buy? Why would I? Why would I see? Uh, maybe you can check any of these other shops around. I've gone around. I've gone around. Is it that egg is scarce or something? Actually, oh, egg is scarce. Yeah. Check this other shop down there. Ah. Yeah. Oh, see, eh, ah. if maybe you can come back like in two hours, I will have egg. No, I need it now. My name could miss it now. Now. And that is the problem now. Just check the other shop around. Mm. Okay, thank you. Oh. I told you I have cash to pay. What are you saying? No, 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 no. You could drop it, drop it. These ones have been paid for by someone else. Please, I cannot send them to you. What if the person calls you? Oh, I tell that person. Yeah? I, I need this uh, desperate thing. My name will be stronger. Oh, no, it. no, no, no. Someone have already purchased this, so please, I cannot sell it to okay, you. Okay, I'll pay double the price. Ah, ah. I'll, I'll pay. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. You seem like a troublemaker. What is it now? I thought that someone have already bought this egg. What is your problem? I cannot send them to you. Please, go somewhere and check please, for Please, please help me. Please, please. Just help me. Okay, let me buy all. No, no. I don't know. Anyway, when I get back... You see? You are eyeing me. Because you don't have any better thing doing. The only thing you do in this village is to gossip people. If you are not gossiping of her because you're gossiping somebody else. Instead of trying to find something you do for yourself. To be responsible women. All you do is gossip here, gossip there, gossip there. I don't blame you. Irresponsible and unproductive women. That's what you are. Huh? Look at me, yes? What will you say? I know what I'm doing. You think I don't know what I'm doing? I know what I'm doing. Try and be productive for once. Gossip, 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 gossip every time. Nonsense. Give a full picture again. No sense, Mom. I'm back. I bought it. What took you so long? Hmm? I didn't know. Where that. have you been? Searching for eggs. I didn't know that eggs are scarce. Leave I, my sight. I went to walk. I went to Leave my sight out. I don't see it. Let me prepare it to enjoy when I prepare. I've lost appetite for spaghetti and eggs. So go! Go! Carry your eggs and go! No, go! I, I prepared it specially. I prepared it. I boil it and fry it and fry it again and boil it to be dry. I and said go. I don't want to eat. Oh. I have lost appetite. Go! Then where will I go to? Please now. I know you must be very hungry. I prepare you something. Anything you say you want to eat, I prepare it for you. Anything. Stop bothering me! I said go! Oh. 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 Oh.
beautiful girl. You're so pretty. Oh, look at you. Look at your nose. Fine eyes. Your lips are so beautiful. Please, 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 please. Enough of the praises. You said anything I want, you're going to get it for you. Yes, I did you. You say you want, I'll get it for you. I, I promise, I'll get it for you. Right now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I want Oppa. Did you say? Oppa. Oppa. Mm. Hey! Oppa, I'm the man. Oppa, I'm the man. Oppa, I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'll go and get your back. There's this woman at the bomb market. She prepares special oppa. Oppa with egg, oppa with vegetable, oppa with crayfish, oppa with onions, oppa! Special oppa! I'll go and get it for you. Hold this egg. You go and get your oppa. Hey! Oppa in the bag. Oh God. When will this be over? Who were you trying to say to him, Adani? I want to remind him how senseless and useless of an elderly man he is. Adana, mm? your mouth will not put you in trouble one of these days. Hey? Don't you know that that man could be diabolical and dangerous? Dangerous, Guinea. Someone that has lost his respect and pride as a man. Not to talk of as an elder to service a girl who is supposed to be his grandchild. Do you know he does virtually everything for her? Mm. And I'm sure he beats her too. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can't be so sure. Oh yeah, what hasn't he done for this girl? Who everybody in this village knows how spoiled she is. You know, I used to think grey hair is a sign of wisdom. Now I know better. I refuse to get old. If getting old will make me as foolish as that man, then let me die before my old age. Adana, mm, you are insane. You better be careful though, because you don't know who, who that man truly is. Ah, it's so bad, Ah, now what for you? Hey, oh. thank God, my brother. I greet you. Please, where did you buy the Oba? Jerusalem. What sort of question is that? No, please, don't be offended. I want to buy Oba. I went to that woman at Oba. I did not see her. So I'm looking around to see if there's anywhere they sell Oba. Well, I bought this one from the same woman. The truth is that this was the last one. Maybe she has left. Hey. Is there any place they sell up around here again? Can you send me this one? This one here. <clears throat> no, not, not the mineral. I mean, I'm not I can pay double for the other. You can pay double. What is this? Oh, it's my mind. Very delicious. You'll enjoy it. But I asked for Oba. Yes, I remembered. I went for Oba, but. It was not available, it finished, so I bought one more. I know as a little girl. You as a little what? Food. As a little girl, you need a lot of protein in your food. Uh, that's why I bought one more. No, as a, as, a, as a big girl, as a madam, uh, you need a lot of ginger, garlic, and all that. And what food. all that doing in my food? Hey! They're highly medicinal. They are good for your growth. They will add to your height, your complexion, your beauty. Please, 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 stop talking. I'm sorry, no. No, I'm sorry. Test it, you like it. Is it? I said stop talking. Sorry. You see, I told you you'll enjoy it. It's very delicious, very sweet. <laughs> they added um, uh, 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 tomato. Stop talking! Tomato, green pea. Everything is there. Are you enjoying it? Well, after all this, I need to take my bath. Your bath? Mm. Okay. Is it hot water, cold water, lukewarm water, or room temperature? Or should I mix all of them together?
is one. If you see the way those girls were gossiping you, I nearly for them. I nearly. But this your friend disappointed me. She was saying that you're a little brat, that you don't have respect for elders, that even the way you talk to Please them. stop! But I told them it's not their business that would live her life in the, in the I said I don't want to hear anymore. There's something I would have loved to tell you, but this one you say you don't want to hear. I don't know. I want to take my bed now. Let me tell you then what I want to tell you. You don't want to hear. I said I want to take my bed. I'll go and prepare your water. But first, let me feed the dogs. Then I'll prepare your water. Why are you calling me now? What's this? Why, why, why do you want to create problem for me? What's this nonsense? my calls. This is the 11th time I'm calling him, yet he's not picking. Now I'm dead worried. Do you think all is well with him? I believe so. I have assured and reassured you several times that all is well with your father. Then why is he not picking his phone? I don't know. In a long time now, he has not asked of me if all is well with him. You said he's going to travel for some days. Now weeks have passed and months have passed as well. What's going on? Are you sure there's something you're not telling me? I'll spend just 45 minutes with my friend Oyedika and before I come back, make sure you have prepared a nice soup with snails. Oh, snail soup? Oh, I used to like snail soup a lot. I'll do just that. Okay. Yeah. Remember that I told you I want my bathroom to be cleaned on a daily. I think I did tell you that. Yes, you did. I remember. You are not obeying my instruction at all and I hate that. Hi. I surrender. Apologies. Forgive me to happen again. You said you're here to serve me, based on my late father's wish, isn't it? Pure and simple. Correct. Mm -hmm. So tell me when you're tired, so that you can leave. Hey, mm. I can never be tired serving you. I'll serve you the rest of my life. Please, forgive. As for these slippers, mm. you know where to keep it. I know. Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama. Oh, papa. Ijele. Negoli. Lezeni ije. Ndoma, ndoma. Iye, chanunage. Hey, hey, will you come over here? Am I not talking to you? Look at this girl. So I'm, I'm too small for you to greet. Huh? So I should... You will greet me, of course. That's a sign of respect to others. Okay. Hey, 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 come. So that's your form of greeting. 
There is nothing to become about this. Nothing at all. I want to see my father. Take me to him. I want to see him. Your father will be back before you know it. That is what you keep telling me all the time. And I'm done hearing it. No. Just take me to him. There is no point going there. I mean, what your father went there to do is, is very serious. And I'm done hearing this. If you don't want to help me, I'll get help somewhere else. Oh yeah, Dika. You have been avoiding me lately. And I don't know why. Hmm. You don't? As in seriously? I don't know, yeah, Dika. You have stopped visiting me. And I've missed you so much. I decided to come look for you and was told you were here. Why would you expect me to visit you after attacking me for telling you the truth? What truth? That you are insulting and disregarding that man in your house. He's my uncle. And that is the more reason you need to accord some respect. I mean, the way you treat that man makes me ashamed of our friendship. Oye I came here for us to reconcile and spend quality time together. Not to bring up my uncle's issue. That was totally uncalled for. Really? Well, until you're ready to make a change in your character, there is no point to this friendship. How stupid of me to have come to you then! think you're going? I'm going to see my father since you have refused to take me to him. So you prefer to get lost while trying to disobey me, eh, Waldera? I prefer to get lost than staying in that house alone. I need my father, even if he doesn't need me. Please, auntie, I need to see my father, even if it's for a day or two. Auntie, please take me to him. I beg of you. Remember, I'm your cousin. Come, stand up. Nemugu. Manyama. You are still here. I thought you were inside. I've told you before, Nedika is not the only girl of your mates that wants your friendship or that desires your friendship. I've told you that there are so many girls that want your relationship, that wants your friendship. They understand? So why are you Nedika all the time? So where can I find them? Where? They're all over. All over. I will help you get them. Intelligent, smart girls, beautiful girls, responsible girls. Girls that are worthy of your friendship and relationship. Not those girls that look like chimpanzee. Look at you, beautiful girl. Friending chimpanzee like girls. Oh. See, mm. I want Oedika to be my friend. Hi. Yedika, I don't know why she's against me. Are you complaining of the way I treat you in this house? Me? Mwabuna. Mwabuda. How can I? If I will ever complain at all, I will complain that you treat me like a king. And is it not true? Is that not the way you treat me? So why should I complain? Eh? She thinks I treat you badly, with disrespect. You treat me badly, with disrespect? Oh, God. I feel like going to slap her. Why would she think that? Why? You. Treat me with disrespect? You see why I told you that Onyedika is not intelligent. She's not smart. She's not wise. She's simply stupid. Have I ever complained to anybody? To how to anybody? Why should I? See, 
don't mind them and their petty gossip. They are not worth trouble at all. See, eh? I prepared that snail soup for you. Special one. Oh, if you test it. Mm. You know the kind of snail I use? That snail that is white and that one that is brown. That one they call it Congo. Congo meat. Mm. When you put it to your mouth, your mouth will swear. It's tasty. I use it to prepare stew. And I use it to prepare <laughs> Just wait. Let me feed the dog. And I'll take you in to eat. You want to eat it? Anywhere you want is okay. The snail will even make you to, to jump on top of the motor and eat. <laughs> Let me feed the dog. <laughs> Yes, where are you? Pig! Hey. Oh, Leave me. You abandoned me. No, I didn't abandon you. Please. I got tired of hearing just your voice on phone. I needed to see you. No problem. See, I'll see you like this one. But I want us to have that moment now. Now. I'm not in the mood. Nemuku is around. I don't want her to come out and see you. Please come and start going. Is Nemoku. Nemoku now. Please stop that nonsense you're doing with that small girl. No. I'm here to have time with you. She's not a small girl. Though. She mean, means the world to me. She's more important to me than everything in this life. So I'm not important. You are important, but she's more important than you and everything you have. Huh? I don't want her to come out here and see I you. I should please. have known you don't have me at heart. See, I promise you, I'll come this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll give it to you. Morning, afternoon, night, three times a day. Please, Please I want it me. now. If it's not now, just. I'm not in the mood. I can't. Please, Please. give me. No, uh, uh. I thought I heard you chatting with someone. Me? God forbid. I was just hallucinating. I need airtime and biscuits too. Need airtime and biscuits? I'll get it right away. What type of biscuits? No. What type of airtime will I buy? Should I buy all the networks? I'm ready. Oh. Um, won't you at least eat before leaving? <laughs> Auntie, food. I'm not hungry, I'm okay. Mm, but you haven't eaten since morning. Auntie, the best food for me now is to see my father. So please take me to him. <sighs> okay, if you insist. Let me get my handbag. Okay, Auntie, I insist. I'm waiting for you. No, I brought the card, then the biscuit. This is the biscuit. I don't like this biscuit. You don't like this biscuit? Yes, return it. Why? Hey, Nemuku, do you know the Dixons are tricked to buy this biscuit and you're asking me to return it? It's your favorite. Why the sudden change of mind? I've changed my mind. Are you going to stand here? And keep questioning me, or you will do as I requested. I will do as you requested. Salas, I am not happy. Unless I am not. That little girl is annoying. I just feel like she's nothing of her life. Honestly, that's the way I feel about her. Ophobiki, don't just try that. Don't even try it. But that's exactly what I feel like doing. Honestly. Remember your reason of all these struggles. Killing her means shooting yourself on your leg. And all this struggle will be for nothing. I know, I understand, but that girl is, is incorrigible by the day. She's so frustrating and annoying. I mean, she, 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 I don't know how to, I don't just know how to describe her. The best word I can use is that that girl is frustrating. No respect of any type. Annoying. 
talks to me, the way I look at her, I don't, just, if I can kill her, I think I'll be, I'll be happy. Relax your mind. Hmm? Relax your mind until all this mission is accomplished. I understand. I'm trying. I'm trying, but it's painful and it's annoying. Thank you for coming at a very short notice. You sounded so worried on the phone. I got so worried myself and I got confused. That was why I left everything I was doing and rushed out to see you. What is the problem? Why did you sound so worried? You did well for coming. Thank you. Our people say when an animal is in need for a scratch, it goes to a tree. But when a human being is in need for a scratch, it goes to fellow human being. Thank you. Ogum, mm. my heart is troubled. Hey, what happened? I don't feel safe anymore around you. Why? Too much envy from my relatives. Hey, what? Everybody wants to have a share in my properties. And I am afraid if I will live long to take care of my daughter, my late wife left under my care. To fear Kwabu Pasobiko. You will live long to train your daughter. Your God will never allow it. I know how hard you worked as a young man. Everything you ever had was gotten through hard work. And no devil, no demon, no power can stop you from enjoying it because you worked hard to achieve your success. Let them envy you. Let them jealous you. Let them do whatever they want to do. Let them say whatever they say. I say your God will not allow it to happen. They will never succeed. Relax yourself. Don't be troubled. You train your daughter. You be alive to train her. She'll get married before you. I'll raise children before you. Who to accord it? It's so many and I go off. Hey! The name is. Yes, who is that? Who? Who are you? I'm coming. They won't even allow me to watch this guy. I'm coming. Who are you? Where's that the gate? Ah! Papa. What are you doing here? Brother, eh? good afternoon. After I could. What Sir? are you doing here? What's happening? Eh? I'm disappointed. I thought we had an agreement. Eh? No, brother. I tried reaching you several you over the phone, but you refused answering. If you try reaching me, I'm not answering, I'm not picking. Then you wait until I answer or I pick. Is it not? Eh? You wait, I said I will call you at the right time. At the appropriate time, I will call you. So what are you doing here? Eh? You did, but... What's going on, Papa? Huh? Aren't you supposed to be happy seeing me? I should be happy seeing you? Yes. Did I invite you? What are you doing here? The only where I will be happy is for you to get out of here and get back to the village. No, Papa. Eh? You lied to me. Eh? When you were traveling, you told me you won't stay long. But you've spent months. What's going on? Hey. And what are you doing here? What is going on? You are still asking me questions. You just get, get the hell out of here. Go back to the village now. No, now. Papa. I'm staying here with you in this house. Come, come here and knock your head now. Go back Brother. here. Come on. Ah. Brother. Oh, Erika, please stop. Oh, Erika, please. Oh, Erika, please. Oh, Erika. Oh, Erika. Oh, Erika. Stop. Please. What do you want? Can we please talk? There is nothing to talk about. I can't give you room to insult and disregard me. I'm very sorry. Please, it will not happen again. Inuko, please. Biko, please. What exactly are you sorry for? Look, you should save that sorry for the old man you've been treating in your house. Wait. Oyedika, I don't know why you think I'm treating that man. 
besides, he has no complaint to me or anybody. He's doing what he promised my father. I don't care. I don't care about whatever promise he made. My concern is that you see nothing wrong yet in your behavior. Okay, I'm sorry. I still want us to be friends. Please, don't go. I'm a changed person right now. Please, it will not happen again. Kudu, please, don't you put that's why I came here. Don't. Please, you remember all the promises I made to you. I'll keep them. Please, I promise you, don't. You don't get it, do you? What don't I get? Your son tried running away from the house, and he almost succeeded. He would have been declared missing, you know, if not that, if I didn't bring him here. Forget all that story. He's still a small boy. You would have dissuaded him from coming out in the first place. But all the same, just take him back. Nemoku will soon come back, and I don't want that to meet two people here. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please. Is Neguku. Neguku. Uh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you alone knows why she bears such title. As for me, there is nothing I can do about it. I'm leaving. No, no, you can't leave. You can't leave. Oh, could leave me. You now. can't leave. You can't abandon go? him here with me. Is it not your son? No, it's my son when I come back to the village. Ha. Please take him along. Take but him along. I don't know what I don't you're want saying. Him I want to meet him here. Oh, that's my lovely cousin. I've heard so much about you. Can I have a word with you? What's going on? Shut up. Go back to the village. Go back to the village. Why is everyone acting so strange? You're not going anywhere. You're staying in this house. Next time you want to have a family reunion, make sure you inform me first. No, it is not a family reunion. I did not invite them. They just came. It's my son, Odera, insisted that he wants to come here. Then who is the other lady? Oh, that's my late brother's uh, daughter. She's the one taking care of Odera, my son. A stranger? In my house? No, not like that. They were about leaving when you came back. Better. But just know I am displeased by your action. Nemoku. He will only stay here with me for two weeks. After that, I'm returning him back to the village. Uncle, I'll be very, very busy throughout this month. Too, and I can't promise you of sticking around the house when you bring him home. Okay. So what is more important than what I'm doing here? What is that thing that is more important to you? You didn't tell me anything. You only asked me to take care of your son. That I have done. But did you wait for me to tell you what I'm doing here? Did you wait for me? You should have waited for me to tell you why I'm here and what I'm doing here before you take any decision or any action. Uncle, eh? I'm very sorry. I have done my best. Eh? Please take care of your son and leave me alone. I want to go. I fed you. Thank you very much. You can go. Uncle, you're not going to give me transport fare. I transported myself and Odera down to this village. Oh. Eh. So what do you want me to do now? To tell you thank you. Did I invite you? Did I invite you to this place? <laughs> if you know how you raise money to transport yourself and Odera to this village, please raise that same money and transport yourself and Odera back to the village. As far as I'm concerned, I never invited you. So you know my headache. Take care of yourself, please. And don't come back to this place again. Is that what you're telling me, uncle? Well, you declined my handshake, which is very rude, but it's all good, it's all good. I just want you to know that I understand the fact that this house belongs to your late parents, which automatically makes it yours. And I also want you to know that I'm not here for you. I'm here for my father, who is the sole reason of me being here. I don't want you to be my friend because I have lots of friends, dear spoiled cousin. What impetus? How dare you stand here before me spewing profanities against my character? How dare you?
What did you tell her? What did you just tell her? I told her nothing. You told her nothing? And she walked away angrily? I only reminded her of the spoiled and uncouth little girl she is. God, who are you to tell her that? Are you mad or have you lost your senses? Are you not a spoiled boy? Oh my goodness. Why, why, why are you always like this? Why are you creating this problem for me every time? See? I don't have words for you now. I'll revisit your case. Don't you know you're a sport ball? Stop on! God. Like tell her now, what kind of problem is this? You boy! No, Mama. No, Mugu. Papa, no. Mama, my ear. My ear. You see what you've cost me? No, Mugu doesn't want to see me again. All because of you. You! No, Mugu. Yes! I don't understand, Papa. Who is Negu? Oh, shit! No, Mugu is your cousin, Chine. And I'm here to serve her. Do you understand me? Papa, I... Nonsense. Is that a joke or what? It is not a joke. What do you mean you're here to serve her? Oh, Papa, you like joking a lot. I'm not joking. I'm here to serve her. See, you have just two weeks to be here. While you are here, you must respect her. Or better still, avoid her. Do you understand me? Papa, uh, you are talking with so much fear in your eyes. The girl we are talking about is a very small girl. I'm even older than her. She's not a small girl. She's a big girl. Do you hear me? She's Nemuku. Whatever you call your dog, that's what your dog is. She's Nemuku. You must respect her. If not, village is your name. Do you hear me? Now. Come, go, go. Come, 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 come. Hide. Right. What are you doing? Hey, what kind of question? And what do you think I'm doing? Please, Papa, don't tell me these are her clothes you're washing. And how is it your business? Please, Papa, let me wash these clothes. It's so demeaning and insulting of your personality. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. But I wash it over and over again. Even if it means washing it for a hundred times, I'll do that once it's in Nemuku's dress. I don't mind. I will never complain. Papa, why are you doing this? Why are you disgracing and embarrassing yourself this way? Hey. Why, Papa? If you don't know, it's you that is disgracing and embarrassing yourself. If you don't have any better thing doing, please go inside and wash the plates. Me? Odera? to watch the place that that girl used in eating. That small girl. No, Papa, never. I know it is very rude of a child to disobey his parents. But in this situation, Papa, permit me to disobey you. Hmm. That small girl, Nemupu. That big boy, eh, uncle. Permission granted, 100%. Just go in and rest. Don't bother yourself. When I'm done with washing the Nemuku's clothes, I'll go and wash the place. Please, uncle, go inside and What rest. can she ever do for herself, Papa? Hey! The best thing she can ever do for herself is to remain my Nemuku. Have I ever complained to you? Huh? I still can't believe the things happening in this house. Ophobike! Ophobike! Nemuku! Come here! Nemuku! Wash those clothes thoroughly and be fast. 
Uh -huh. Why didn't you turn on the generator? Or do you want me to suffocate in this house? Uh, no, Mupumbana. Why would I want you to suffocate? I'm sorry about that. I had an important cartoon watching before they took the light. So go now and turn on the generator. No, Mupu, I tried turning on the generator, but it refused coming on. Why didn't you call the mechanic to service the generator? I so much hate your inadequacies. What are you even doing here? If I have a reason to be uncomfortable, I don't know why I have hey! to tell you everything. You don't talk to my father like that. If you don't have respect, you should at least have some common sense to know that he's old enough to be your grandfather. Hey, take care of your son and let this not repeat itself again. Okay. You're so hopelessly full of yourself. You need serious home training and etiquette. Why are you talking to, to, to her like that? Eh? Let me warn you. Let this be the first and the last time you ever talk to her with disrespect. She's the one that showed you disrespect, Papa. Did I come to you to complain? Next time, if you try it, I'll slap you. Papa? Yes? Papa, you're going to slap me over a thing like this? You chose her over me, your son. Your blood. Yes. I will choose her over and over again. Over you. Next time you try this nonsense, I'll slap you. And I'll lock it out of house. Nonsense. Ready for you. Will you eat here? Should I bring it here? You come in this side to eat. Papa, I'm not hungry. You cannot tell me you're not hungry. I know you've not eaten since morning. Papa, I said I'm not hungry. You can go and feed your neck, you and just leave me alone. There you go again. I just wish you understand. What I'm doing here might look insane and stupid. To you, I'm just wasting time. But believe you me, I know what I'm doing. And it's for our own good. I pray God will understand. Please. Just leave me alone, Papa. <sighs> okay. Maybe if you change your mind, you want to eat. The food will be waiting for you. Hmm? Are you feeling bad at me? Very bad, Papa. I know. And I know with time, you will understand what I'm doing. And it's for our own good. Okay. If you change your mind and you want to eat, food is already served. So, Papa, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, Namuku. Ah, excuse me. Uh, it's about my son. You believe in? Back to the village this weekend before it causes us more troubles. No, let him stay. I, I didn't hear you. I didn't understand what you said. Yes, of course. Let him stay. He's my cousin, and I don't want people to be saying I threw my cousin out of the house, especially my sanctimonious friend Oyedika. People say, since when did you start bothering about what people say behind you? 
Although I know whatever they said, they said it for their own reasons. But since when did you start bothering? He's your son. Yes, he's my son. Let him stay. But tell him to stay away from me. No more graphite. I'll tell him. I'm going to go and see my friend Oyerika. I'll spend some minutes there. I'll come back. Okay, no more. He has to go back. He can't stay here. That boy is a bundle of trouble. One day, one trouble. One day, one trouble. What kind of a child? Ah. He's going back to the village. Chinelo. to address you as ma or what? Wait, how does it feel to be addressed as Nemuku by my father? And also, reducing a man his age to your housemaid. Do you feel proud, complacent or stupid? Now I will not have you insult me. You will leave my house before you do that. Chinelo, I feel sorry and ashamed for you. Here you are, thinking you know what you're doing, when you don't know the damage you're doing to yourself. Now I will not take this nonsense. I won't! I'm not done talking. I want you to free my father from whatever shackles you think you hold him with. I need my father back. Let go of me! Oh, now I see. You have missed your father's love, care and attention. And now you want him back. Because all he knows is me. Hmm. How pathetic. Tony, please. I just want you to forgive me. I want you to understand the nature of my job. Please, I'm sincerely sorry. You already told me your job is more important than I am. No. I get it. I do. No, it's not what I mean. Please, it's not what I mean. You assured me a few months ago that you're coming to see my people, but you did not even show up. Now, why I'm here is because I really want to know where this relationship is heading to, because I don't really understand it. Mm. Relationship is leading to good. Please. Yes. That's that's what let me explain. You will understand me better. Please exercise a little more patience. You please. know what? What? I'm really happy we are here having this conversation now because I really wanted to come see you and let you know that someone is coming to ask for my hand in marriage no. and I'm ready to give that person my consent because it's obvious you are not serious at all. No, 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 no. Oh, please don't do BK. this to me. Don't. Please, I beg you, don't do this to me. Please, please, please. I am not a fool. No, please, please. It is over. Hey! No, don't do this to me. Please, come. What? Please, who's there? It's me. Oh, Auntie Akudo. Thank God you're here. Thank God you're here. Odera, oh, what is the emergency that you had to use your father's phone to contact me? Auntie, how was your trip first? Unpleasant. Because I left everything I was doing to come here, since you sounded so urgent on the phone. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but I really need your help. What happened? Uncle okay, Heme, I thank you for agreeing to meet with us. I know I am too small for this, but my mind hasn't been at rest in a long time now. My son, what is it? Just tell me. Tell me, because I think I can handle it. Uncle, it's my father. My father needs urgent help. 
He needs someone to save him from himself. Your father needs a gentile. Yes, uncle. What, what is the problem with him? Eh? Is, is everything all right with him? What is the problem? Uncle, he's medically all right too. I don't know. Then, what is the problem? K4, tell me. What are you doing here? You hear me? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Huh? I thought we could have me. Save it. Why are you here? It is because of this your madness. Madness? Yes. About this your madness. How? It has got to stop. Look, let me tell you. I don't really know your mission in this house. And whatever you think you are doing here is bringing untold and irreparable shame on our family. Everybody is talking about you. With several snapping of the fingers. That shows that whatever you are doing here is wrong. Totally wrong. Enough. Absolutely wrong. Enough. You are telling me enough. You are telling me him enough. I said it's enough. Look, let me tell you. Even your son complained to me of the same thing I am telling you now. He complained to me. That shows that whatever you are doing here is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now I understand that you are among those people who are laughing at me. Mm. Because you think I'm living big. Mm. You think I'm enjoying. Mm. Eh? So you are simply jealous of me. That is it. Now let me ask you. Mm. How is it your business? And how does it concern you? What I do here and what, whatever that I'm doing here. Or how does my life concern you? Why must you intrude into my life? The madman is not always with the shame, but his kinsman. His kinsman bears the shame. <laughs> it is you that is mad. You are stupid. You are foolish. You are hungry and you are poor. You are among those who are laughing at me, thinking that I'm a useless man. I'm a flavor because I'm here. I tell you what, I'm not a flavor. I know myself. I'm together. You tell me you know the reason why I'm here and what I'm doing. Look, uh, he that laughs last, laughs better. Hungry man from the village. Is that not what you are? Jealous indeed. Okay, now, I want you to leave this compound. You are telling me to leave? Hey. You are telling me to leave this compound? You hear me? I am not telling you to leave. I am commanding you to get out of this compound. Oh, you don't want to go? Then wait. Let me get in there. I'll come out. I'll tell you how to get out of this compound. Wait, I'm coming. I will get out. But just know that whatever you are doing here is wrong. Totally wrong. of you. What's the meaning of this? Please, let's go of whatever spell you put on my father. He's bringing shame to me and to our family. Please, let's go of him. How unintelligent you are to think I put a spell on your father. Now let me tell you, your father is here on his own volition. I didn't ask for this. Besides, he made a promise to my father to take care of me. So what is wrong with you and everybody in this village? Can't you people mind your business for once? Please. Your father is an adult and clearly understands what he's doing. So if you need moral lessons and instruction, go to him for that. Now get out. Get out! Wait, 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 wait. Am I talking to you? Get out! Hey, Nemo. What is it? What, what are you doing? Huh? Why are you sweeping by yourself? No, Nemo, no. No, you can't sweep. Isn't that what you want? God forbid, why should I want it? Why am I here if I can't serve you well? Why am I here? 
Well, your son thinks I'm forcing you to do what you're doing now. My son? You forced me? I said he thinks I'm forcing you to do what you're doing now. Why would he think that? Eh? For God's sake. But I told you... him you're here on your own volition. Ah, do you need to explain yourself to anybody? You don't need to, my dear. No, I'm here to serve you and I'll serve you well. If there's anything you want, wait for me to come, tell me, and I'll do it. Eh? Ah. Let me do the sweeping. Oh, where is even Odera? Hold this in for me. Sorry. Odera! Odera! What is it? What is it? Why? 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 Oh my God, Oyerika, how long have you been standing there? I just arrived. How are you? Fine. I don't even know when I slept here. I'm so going to deal with that man for not taking me inside. You're talking about your uncle, isn't it? Can we just go in there and talk? What is it that we can't say here? I've forgotten the defender of the defenseless is here with me. Anyway, so nice to see you here. I really need the company. Let's just go inside now. Let's go in there and talk. Are you coming inside or not? Please, I understand you are a very good friend. I'm actually her only friend. And please get up, you don't have to kneel before me. Please, I need you to help me talk to her. The man she's humiliating in her house is my father. I don't know what she did to him. A man who is old enough to be her grandfather. So you're her cousin? Yes, and I came here to take my father home. But he has blood and he refused to follow me. Rather, he chose to stay here and serve her. No, I... The humiliation is too much already. Just get up. I'll help you talk to her, okay? I'll, I'll try my best to talk to her. Just get up, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, Nim Salas. Okay, Nim. I think it's about time that I... Exactly. Because if you keep waiting, I'm afraid he will die before you reach your goal. My only problem is my son. He doesn't seem to understand what I'm doing. Hmm. I've tried to explain to him, but the guy is too, he's too stubborn. Then, forget about him. Don't lose focus. Hmm. The result automatically will surprise all of them. Oh. Okay, Nim. Thank you for having you as a friend. You're, welcome. You're my best. Hmm? You're welcome. I promise you, any time that all this is done, a handsome reward. Okay, Nim. Hmm? <laughs> Always there for me, so why would I not? That's no problem. Oh! Nemuku, you scared me. Hi. Nothing will happen to you. You will not die. But this dream, it was very scary. Though I've had other dreams like this though, but this one was scary. I almost died. God forbid. You don't die. Sudden death is not your portion. Huh? But you would have called me when the dream started. At least I would have brought Akinu and Kokoyam to help you. What are those for? They actually used to ward off evil spirits, witches and wizards and all those bad, bad things that, that will come to attack you at night. So, witches and wizards are in my room? Ah, not just your room. They're in your room. They're in my room. They're everywhere in the compound. Even as we're here, they're here. But I had that dream outside. I know. Witches and wizards, they're outside. 
and inside. Even the clothes you are wearing, they are there. Witches and wizards. Even my own clothes, they are here. Even as we are sitting, they are sitting with us. But why would anyone want me dead? Nemuku, are you the one asking this question? You should know. And I know you know the answer. Don't you know the answer? You know. Yes, you know why they want you dead. Hmm. You know. I suggest you let him be. Eh? I should let my father be. Auntie, is this you talking or what? Your father is an adult. And somehow I'm very convinced he knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't. Trust me when I say that. So many people have questioned his actions for so long. And he keeps reassuring them that he knows what he's doing. For how long will I condone this? Look, you can follow me home if you don't like what is no, going on No, auntie. Here. I'm not going anywhere. And if this is the reason you came here, then it's obvious that my father has gotten to you. I'm done with this conversation. But Odera, your father didn't tell me anything. I will remain here and keep on trying till I set my father free from whatever my cousin might have placed on him. Greet everybody when you get to the village. The bag! He did what? That's it! He's leaving my house today! Send him away and this friendship is over! Can you stop threatening me, Oyedika? Can't you see that boy is becoming a threat to me in my house? What gave him the God to approach you concerning me? Because I am your friend. I don't expect him to go to someone else. The boy is concerned about his father. And I would do the same if I was in his shoes. I've told him countless times that that is his father's decision. I didn't put him up to anything. I just hate his God. He's leaving my house today. Then I'll make good on my threats if you send him away. Listen to me. I know the man may be there willingly, but you have to tell him to return to his family. Please. Then who will take care of me? You just don't understand what that man is doing for me in my life. He's the only one I can trust right now. You just don't understand it. So you can't trust me, right? I never said that. Stop putting words into my mouth, please! Papa? My son? Yes, Papa. The sun your face is like this. I know you're hungry. Don't worry, I'm finished with this too. You just to boil the rice and you eat. Hmm? No, Papa. I'm not hungry. So what is it? Papa, mm -hmm. I've come to tell you that I've accepted to let you do whatever you came here for. Mm -hmm. You have accepted to allow me to do whatever I came here to do? Yes, Papa. Mm -hmm. That's thoughtful of you. Brilliant. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, uh, just relax yourself, eh? Very soon, my suru will learn. Hmm? What's that? It's a Yoruba adage. Yoruba word. He says, don't worry. Very soon, my patience will be rewarded. That I'll be happy. You're my son. You're intelligent. I want to teach you little things. Hmm? Shake. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear? She does a lot taller than you. <laughs> but, Papa, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me why you're doing all this. That's what I said. So be patient. Hmm? Uh, I'm only most achieving my aim. I'm getting there. By the time I get there, push, you know everything. I will be happy. Hmm? My son. So you're not going to tell me? That is always the problem with you. 
Eh? You are always too inquisitive. Is it that you're not hearing me or that you don't want to understand me? I say, cool down. I'll tell once I get to the process, the end of it, and everything has killed. I'll tell you. And you'll be happy. So relax yourself, cool down. Or you don't want to cool down? No, I want it now. You want it now? Yes. Then cool hot. Because I'm not telling you anything. Now. Okay. Just now you said you you you, you want to allow me to do whatever I want to do. Now I did you say you want to you want me to tell you whatever I want to tell you now. Why are you always changing? Are you a chameleon? I won't tell you anything now until I get to the process, the end of the process, when the game is finished. I tell you, if you don't want to wait, then do whatever you like. Okay, Papa. No problem. No problem? No problem. Was there any problem before? I don't know. This my short son is always giving me a headache. He's too intelligent for his age. Always too inquisitive. advice for you, Chinelo. Good afternoon, no. Oh, please, don't expect me to greet you when you know I'm your elder. Can you please get out of my sight? It will be wise if you listen to me first. I don't think my father has good intentions for you. Whatever reason you think he's serving you, it's all deceitful. He's not who you think he is. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Well, I know very well that you're not wise. But I want you to open your eyes just this once. And no, there's no way my dad will be doing all he's doing for you for nothing's sake. Chinelo, I know you may be many things, but I'm somehow convinced that you are not stupid. Nemukri, our food is ready. Should I serve you here or are you coming inside? There's light though, inside. No more. Sorry, what did you say? It's like a traveled fire. I said your food is ready. Do you want me to serve you here or are you coming inside to eat? That's light. I prepared delicious stew. Good one. I used uh, dry fish and snake. Snake? Snake? No, snail. That type you like. The white and the brown one. I use it to prepare delicious too. If you taste it, mmm, so delicious. Will I serve you here? Are you coming inside to eat? I'll do that later. Sit down. No more. You think I should sit down? Yes, sit down. Is it okay? Everything okay? I said sit down. I'm seated. I want you to be very honest with me. And I mean very honest with me. Honest about what? I don't understand where this is coming from. Okay then. Why are you doing all these things? Why am I doing all what? Why are you serving me and doing all my biddings? Good. But I told you I made a promise to your late father. Ofobike, as I was telling you, I don't think I can see the breaking of tomorrow's so the way things are going. Only my please solve something this way. You break my heart. How will you be talking like this? Nothing will happen to you. Huh? Nothing will happen to you. Be alive. Nothing. Ofobike. I have called you to ask you, so please take care of my daughter Chinel. if anything happens to me. I don't know, Nema. I don't know. How do I bring you out of this kind of talk? Nothing will happen to you. Nothing. 
You're not near death at all. Please. please. Stop standing this way. Ogun. Mm. Please. You have to promise me. Hi. It is important. Be good. I promise you whatever you want me to promise you. I promise. But nothing will happen to you. You'll be alive to raise your daughter. You will not die. I know how much you loved my, my sister, my late sister. You loved her so much. You loved her with passion. But if she died on timely death, you will not die like that. You'll be alive. You'll be strong to train your daughter. She left her for you. So why would you want to leave it for somebody? Please stop standing this way. You break my heart. Thank you very much, Ofobike. I am my wife, Pampad Chinelo, so much that she can barely do anything on her own. Please, Ofobike, please do well to teach her as you would teach your own child. I promise you whatever you want me to promise you. I will do, but please, nothing will happen to you. Stop this thing you're talking. Ogum, mm. it's only he who wears the shoe that can tell where it pinches him. I agree, but at times you wear the shoe and it's not pinching you, but you feel it is pinching you. That's what you're feeling now. This shoe is not pinching you. Please, Ogum. Please, my daughter Chinel. I will, I will be there for her, but nothing will happen to you. <laughs> My daughter. <sighs> Uncle, where is my father? Your where father? is he? Uh, uh, is he uh, at the hospital? Why will you leave him there? I, I, I just said, let me come. I, I, I will go. I, I will what are you I'll talking come. about? Where is my father? Hey. Uh, you see, I, I... I don't understand what you are saying. Where is my father? Your father is dead. Simple. My father is dead. Hey! Papa! <laughs> Ever since then, I've been doing what I promised your late father. Have I not been doing it? Well, yes. We have been doing it. I just want to believe there's a reason to this. I don't know where this is coming from. But I don't want to believe my son put you up to it. Nobody put me up to anything. I just want to know what you are doing here because I find it difficult to trust anyone nowadays. You find it difficult to trust anyone nowadays? Does that include me? See, look, I, I don't even... I've heard it, Nemoku. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Where are you going to? I'm heartbroken. I need to have some rest. But I am not the one taught. Come, come here, protest. You see, she's no more here. What did you tell her? What? Nothing. I should have known you lied when you said you accepted I should do my business in this house. Tell me exactly what you told her. Tell me. Nothing. Are you not me. Me. Come, 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 come. Ah. What did you tell her? I told her the truth. What truth did you tell her? What truth? Huh? I told her to be careful of you since I don't know what you're up to. Hey. hey this boy has killed me. I've always known it that you're a spoiler. Whatever truth you told her has spoiled my chances of winning her confidence and trust. You see? Why would you do that? Are you not my son? Are you happy? You are spoiling everything for us. I'm sorry, Papa. Sorry? But you refuse to let me in on your little secrets. Shut up! Which secrets? We simply do want to know. Whatever you told her has put everything for us. Now, go inside, pack your bag. We are going to the village right away. If I go inside and come back and meet you here, I swear to God, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. 
Ow! <laughs> Papa! Ah, finally! Thank God! You're living with him too. I'm living. Sorry, please don't go and call me. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, Uncle, don't go. Please, please. I've been stupid, unreasonable. Please don't go. You have done more than my parents would have done if they were still alive. Please don't go, Uncle. I still need you in my life. I beg, please. I don't know what to tell you now. You really surprised me with those words. I don't know. Have I ever demanded anything from you? Have I ever given you any reason to distrust me? That is why I said I was stupid and unreasonable. Please, Uncle, please don't go. Now, I, I know it's difficult, but you can't live with somebody you don't trust. Why not get somebody you trust to live with you? At least that will make you happy. There's no one, Uncle, and you know it. There are no good people around me. My father told me about his relatives. Please, don't go. Please, please, don't go, don't go. What happened? Where's your bag? I've been sitting here waiting for you, Papa. Uh huh. Waiting for me for what? For us to leave now. To where? To the village. See, better go inside and sit down. I'm going to Porto buy a car for my new I don't want to go there, come back, see you standing here talking nonsense. Come on, enter inside. Enter inside which house, Papa? Enter inside the house. I don't understand you, Papa. You won't understand me because you have never tried to understand me, not for once. So why would you start understanding me now? Huh? Come on, go inside. What is going on? So we are not living anymore. What has this girl done to my father? What if the boy was right? I'm no one. He's not, my dear. The man in question is his father. So why would he say a thing like that if he's not so much sure of it? Oh, yeah, Dika. I've told you that boy does not like me. He's jealous of the way his father is serving me. I mean, the man worships and adores my footstep. So who wouldn't be jealous? As far as I'm concerned, I don't think it's wise to disregard the boy's comment to you. Remember, there's always an element of truth in every hateful comment. You just called it hateful, right? Meaning it's possible he concocted a lot of disparaging tales just for me to send his father away. My uncle is my number one as far as I'm concerned. In fact, listen to the audio my phone recorded while I was pleading with him not to leave. Now, I, I know it's difficult, but you can't live with somebody wow. you don't trust. Why not get somebody you trust to live with you? At least that will make you happy. I could feel the sincerity in his voice already. You see, I told him. Thank God we came back safely. I'm so happy. 
What's going on? If I tell you what I saw and heard on my way from the market, you won't believe it. Speak. On my way from the market, I saw your uncles Ichibe and Agozie planning on how to send you to where your parents are. Honestly, I was so scared and worried. I rushed back here. I didn't see you. I was an elephant head. I've been worried, pacing up and down, waiting for you. Thank God you came back alive. If I tell you that your life is not in danger, my dear, I am lying. Why would they want to kill me? Ask me. Ask me. This was the same way they killed my father. My father told me that his life was in danger. So much hatred and envy. I'm scared. I want to leave this place. No. You cannot. I'm your guardian angel. So long as I'm alive. I will defend you. Nobody, none of them will get at you. This is my promise. Relax yourself. Calm down. Just calm down. Believe me. Trust me. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Yes, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Go inside and rest. I'm your watchman. I'll watch over you. They cannot do you anything. Believe me. Go in. Go in. What is this? My father's document. Why are you giving them to me? Your fortune is at this point. Please reduce your voice. It was handed over to me before my father died. I promised him to keep it safe since it's my inheritance. Your father was a nice man. He made sure you never suffer. I really planned well for you. Sure he did. But now my uncles are after me. I'm not sure of my safety and that of this document. That is why I'm handing it over to you to keep it safe. I will not betray your trust. And that you're handing these documents over to me. I'll keep them safe for you. Okay? Are there any other documents you want me to keep for you? Or any secret you want to share with me? Uncle, you know you are the only one I can trust right now in my life. Thank you. You have been more than a father to me. That is why I give you this document to keep safely. I am so comfortable that I can let you in on everything that my father told me before he died. Thank you. I will not disappoint you. It crossed my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, congratulations. <laughs> that is, uh, I'm so, so happy. And I thank you. You made it all possible. Without you, what would I have done? Your success is equal to my own success. I know. I mean, what I <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I thought would have been very difficult, given the type of girl, worked like magic. I tell you, she gave in so easily. Handed over everything to me. I so, wish more congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Remember me in your paradise. Soon. Of course, I'll remember. How will I not remember you? How will I not remember you? Chai! I'll remember my good friend. Chai! I want to go. It's just that after going through the documents, I discovered that there are things to be done. <sighs> what is it? What is it? Get me a glass of juice. I'm thirsty. I should get you a glass of juice. Me, Odera. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. You. You really don't know your mates, do you? Wait. I sent you on an errand and you had the guts to disobey me. That's it. You are leaving this house today. Just wait till your father comes back. You are leaving.
Why are you shaking as if something is biting you? What's the problem? I'm talking to you, Chinelo. Why are you shaking? Is something biting you? Any problem? Did you just address me by my name? How informal that sounds. Seriously. So is your name no more Chinelo? My name is Chinelo. Mm -hmm. But it sounded informal. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I've heard you. Anyway, that's not the issue. What's the issue? It's about your son. He's leaving this house today. My son leaving this house today? What happened? That boy does not have respect or regards at all. Could you believe I sent him to get me a glass of juice, but he blatantly refused? That's all. Nemoku, I think it's high time you start doing things on your own. You don't always have to depend on people to serve you. I mean, be active, do things, get used to it. It pays. Honestly, it pays. Learn it. Uncle, what is wrong with you? Are you all right? I'm all right, but not very all right. Especially after listening to the lawyer I want to visit today. And what he said concerning the documents. What did he say? Not too good. But, uncle, you can keep the document safe. Why then do you need a lawyer? My dear, with the way things are going, the documents are better deposited in the custody of a barrister like me. Why? Uh, because your uncles might come to attack me as your protector to take away the documents. But if they come and they didn't get the documents, well, they cannot do anything about it because the documents are with the barrister. Well, that's smart. But the money he's asking for just to keep the document safe, it's rather too much. It is that professional fee. Like I said, forget about it, I'll take care of the fee. I'll pay him. I'll settle the barrister. You will take care of the fee? Of course, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anything that will make you happy, I'll do that for you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. I don't know what I've done to deserve a guardian angel like you. Your father did much already for me. Okay. Uh, the, there's this document that the barrister prepared and said I should give to you to sign. Okay. Just sign here. I'll return it to him. So I will turn the documents to you. Madam! Yes, come on, madam. I'm here. You have meat? Get us meat. Two of meat. Two of them. 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 One thing I like about her, she knows how to be precious. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Madam Zayo. Madam Zayo. Madam Zayo. You are leaving this house today. I'm and not going anywhere. You are leaving this house today, and that's fine now. I know I'm keeping calm. I'm only respecting my father. Otherwise, what I would have done do to you. What? what can you do? This is my house, and I decide who stays or not. As the rightful owner, I am asking you to leave. Now, I'm not going anywhere. 
I will stay here till my father returns. No problem at all, though. But as you are doing that, I suggest you stay outside. Now move! Why are you standing outside with your bag? Huh? Papa, she sent me out. Who sent you out? Nediku, of course. Where is she, Chinelo? Where is she? Papa, I told you let us leave this house, but you refuse. I'm sure she will throw you out the same way. Oh, shut up. What do you mean by that? It's like you're not enjoying the free food you're eating here. She can't throw me out. I'm in charge. Okay, that into your head. I'm in charge. So come on, go inside. Go, open the gate for me. Wait, you mean you gave him everything? Everything? But I'm confident that the documents are safe with him. How sure you that the documents are safe? It's not as if it is in his hand. It is in the hands of one barrister, Jose Mena, and has promised to keep the document safe. In fact, I'm so lucky to have that man as my uncle. Hmm. Chinelo, you shouldn't have given him everything. He's not someone you can place your trust in yet. Oye de Kachi, I am very confident. I can beat my chest and say that the documents are safe with my uncle. He's just got sent to me. My own bridges with his intrepid son that I despise so much and I've just sent him out of my house. You did what? What's the meaning of this? The meaning of what? I sent your son out of this house and you had the guts to bring him back. How dare you? That man is my son and your cousin, Chinelo. Why did you send him out of the house? Why? Please, can you stop addressing me by my first name? Hey, shut up! Is your name not Chinelo? Look at this brat. What do you want me to address you as? Are you not Chinelo? Wait, I can't believe this. You can't believe what? Wait. I just understand. Did you just speak to me that way? Will you just shut up? And don't talk to me like that again. How dare you? Come on, get out of here, get inside. I'll pour you this drink. Who are you? Look at this poor girl. Is this a joke? It's not a joke. I mean every bit of a thing I've said here. I said, get inside, or I hit your head now. Come on, get inside. Go and find something to do. Look at this stupid spoiled girl. You don't have manners, you've lost it all. Don't have sense, don't have behavior, nothing. Lost everything. All this doesn't arise because I'm eating her biscuit and drinking her juice. The juice is good though. Oh, this little girl has been enjoying. Hmm. Uncle. What is it? What? I want to ask you of something. What is that? I want the documents I gave you back. You gave me documents? Which one? My father's properties. Wait, wait. Okay. That one you signed and handed over to me that day. Oh, they all belong to me now. Then I'll get the police. Police? And what will you tell police? That you signed a letter of authority from a lawyer and handed over all your documents to me. So what will you tell them? The name belongs to me. 
So you have to learn to live with that. That you don't have anything anymore. All you had are now mine. Hmm? It shock you. It shock you. <laughs> it is called DVD. It they play, it they show. So come on, go and open the gate. Open the gate. DVD in the play in the shoes. <laughs> oh, sweet words. Chinelo, what's going on? What happened? And why the tears? It's your father. My father? What did he do? He's not who I thought he is. I don't understand. He deceived me. I still don't get it. He has become something else. That must be my father. But don't worry about him. What happened? What's going on? How do you mean my father deceived you and all this you're seeing? Can you explain? What is this girl still doing in this place? What are you doing here? Sitting down and crying? Huh? Have you watched the plates? No, Uncle. And you have the guts to answer me? Will you go inside and make sure you clean up everywhere and make sure the kitchen is clean too? Come on, go inside. What's going on, Papa? Hey, shut up and carry inside. Nonsense. Oh. Wait, Papa. What's going on? You refuse to talk to me. Yes, I refuse to talk to you. Because you never believed that one day the table would turn. Hmm? I knew what I was doing. What did you do, Papa? That's no time for charts. I told you to trust and believe in me, but you never did. Now I'm in charge. And there's nothing, nothing anybody can do about that. Hmm? Open the gates. I'll get to the root of this, Papa. I promise you that. Good. For now, I'm in charge. Open the gate and send it back to the village. Come on. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> Silas, I greet you. Oh, yeah. What are you still doing in this village? You should have been at your husband's house. I thought your traditional marriage was held last week. Go to your husband's place so that we will know how many young ladies are in this village. Let me not go after a married woman. Silas, the wedding did not hold. No. I don't understand. You mean your husband? Did not show up as promised. It's a long story and I don't want to think about it. I just want to move on with my life. Hey! In patience. Onyinye, in patience. Of what became would have paid your bride price. By now you would have been his wife. He would have paid your bride price especially. Now he is swimming in money. Which of Obike? How many of Obike did you know? You are own of Obike? As I speak to you, Onyinye, Ophobike is one of the richest men in this village. Eh? He would have paid your bride price. But you lost out because of impatience. Oh my God. What have I done to myself? Oh God. How could I have made such a silly mistake? Fobidike. Fobidike. Oh, 
drop. Please. DK, please. Please. What please, is this nonsense? What is this madness? Please, what is I'm this sorry. madness? What is it? Please oh, forgive me for everything that I have done to you. Please, for abandoning you when you needed me the most. Please forgive me. You and me? Please. That I should forgive you please, for abandoning me. Please. Oh my goodness. I never me. knew you can be this soft. It's all right. I'm forgiving you. Your sins are forgiven. Please just go in peace. Okay? Go in peace. Please. What is it again? There was no husband. He did not even come to the, 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 the wedding day. I didn't even see him. Oh. Forgive you're me. You're telling me something. So now I know where you're coming from. Oh. So because your intended husband did not come, abandoned you on the wedding day, that's why you suddenly remembered your forgiveness. And you're asking for forgiveness. To forgive you for what? Please what? For what me. reason? For God's sake. Please. After all you did to me. Please, that is what I'm asking for your forgiveness. Please, it's not, it's not what you think. I you understand. Me. You abandoned me because you thought I was weak and poor. According to you, I was serious. Okay, now because you think that God has blessed me. I am now boy. I'm now living well. I'm enjoying car. You now want to come back asking me to forgive you. Forgive you to do what for God's sake? Me. For God's sake, for what? Now I understand, please. If it's a joke, stop it. Now let it be a warning and a lot of advice to you. Anytime you see me again, by chance or for any reason, I try to block me or stop me. I swear to God, I will cheat you and I will kill you. I will not do what happened. You have assaulted me enough and I have taken it. Let it be the end, please. No, I'm sorry. Whatever that has to do with you, is now in the No. Past. Thank you. God bless you. No. Very good too. Come on, leave me alone. Please. Don't Please. 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 No. Please stop. Okay, okay. Talk to me. What did my father have on you? He deceived me. At first, I thought he came for my rescue. He made me think he was there for me. Um, now that your parents are no more, it is not right for a little girl like you to be staying alone here without anyone taking care of you. Uh, what I want you to know is that uh, as your late father's elder brother, I am moving into this property with my own family so that you can be staying with us as one family. What uncle? Eh? I, I, no, 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 no. I don't want uncle in this case. No uncle. No interference. No, no opinion. You hear me? All I need from you are those documents to the properties. I have nothing. Would you shut up? Eh? Are you stupid? I am telling you what to do as an elder in the family. And you are talking to me anyhow. See, you see those documents. If you don't give them to me, I am going to deal with you. I will deal with you to the extent that you will even forget your name. What do you mean? You do no such thing. Absolutely nothing. And who are you? How will you remember me when all that is in your coconut head is how to dupe the small girl, how to cheat the girl, how to dispossess the girl of her father's properties? I can't accept any insult from you unless you tell me who you are right now. You are already insulted. But if you must know, I will introduce myself. 
I am the late mother's only surviving brother. And I was with the father before he died. He told me things. And he knew that evil men like you will come. And he pleaded with me to take care of his only daughter, child, Chinelo. And exactly that I'm here to do. All I'm asking of her are those documents. That is all. I don't care. I don't care what, what, what you are here for. I don't know. Exactly. She already explained to you that she doesn't have the documents. So what do you want? You want me to report to the king to tell him that an evil man has come to work? Is that what you want? Well, man, I'll come five and you get out of this place. One, are you still here? Two, are you still here? Three, are you still here? Four, we shall see. Are you still here? We shall see. Oh, five, my We dear. shall see. My daughter. How can you? I'm glad for you, okay? But like she said, nothing will happen. I'm glad for you. Your father already told me everything, so I can prepare it. And I'm here for you. Okay? Take me in. Your father made me believe he was my guardian angel. He did everything for me. Even when I asked him severally why he was doing all this he was doing for me, he just said, he made my father a promise to always take care of me. <sighs> Little did I know, he wanted to gain my trust and take everything from me. Everything like what? Everything, Odera. Everything. God forbid. I can't have anything to do with that girl. That small girl. Hi. Even you. No. God forbid, girl. I am talking about Onye. You are on Onye. Onye. Let me ask you. Will you lick saliva? Spit on the floor? I can never. Then why are you asking me to marry you? After all she did to me? No, it's not possible. If you want to marry Onye, go on ahead and marry Onye. I promise you one thing, I'll sponsor your wedding. Afabike, don't say anything you can never tolerate. I am only suggesting this because I, I thought this is the right time for you to talk to her because you have money. Onye, she will never smell my tenko. She will never smell my money. Honestly, if you're interested in her, like I said, go on ahead and marry her. But for me, no, I will never have any business with her. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Adima, if you say so, I will go to her this evening to tell her my intention. Hmm. My friend, I am saying so with all my heart. If you marry in here today, I'll sponsor your wedding, 100%. Please, I will never have anything to do with that. Oh, for me, case you, Gaga, no, 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 I've made a grievous and silly mistake. Wait. You mean you gave him everything? Your father's document. Everything, Chinelo. I thought he loved me. I thought he cared for me as his child. But I warned you about that man. I warned you. He never gave me any reason to distrust him. Not even one. <laughs> I thought I was doing the right thing by giving him the documents to keep safe since my uncles were after it. But you can still report this to the Igwe. 
he will have them return the documents to you. I don't think the Iwe can do anything in this situation. Why not? My uncle gave me a document to sign. And I signed the paper without going through it properly. Later, he told me I signed away all my father's properties to him. They don't belong to him. Oh my god. I've made a huge mistake, Boy Edika. Uh, calm down. Calm down. I'm sure there's a way they can get back to properties. Just calm down, okay? Don't worry. We'll figure something out. So where are you coming from by this time of the day? Hmm? Uncle, I... Hey, I shut up. You can only leave this compound on my own instruction or going for an errand for me. Do you understand? Uncle, I'm sorry. Hey, shut up. Don't ever call me uncle again. If I hear you call me uncle, I kill you. From today henceforth, you call me Namuku. Did you hear that? Now call it. Namuku. It's like we're only used to the word. Call it again. Namuku. I want to hear you louder. Namuku. Namuku. Fine. From today. Get inside. All your heart are now mine. Hmm? It shock you. It shock you. <laughs> it is called DVD. It they play in the show. Papa, why? What do you mean by why? What's your problem? You stand you're too stubborn. That's my problem. With you. Papa, you she, understand. Papa, she told me everything you took from her. She told you what? She told me everything you took from her. So my son, now that the table has turned, are you not enjoying it? But Papa, mm. how will I enjoy it when I know that all that is here does not belong to you, but her? My son, I know with time you'll understand me. You'll understand everything that I'm doing. Okay? Relax. I know what I'm doing. But Papa, she's still a small girl. <laughs> For the torture you're giving her. <laughs> I saw how she managed to clean the house. And you didn't even allow her to rest before telling her to wash the curtains. Because she has to learn how to do things. She's washing the curtains now, right? Yes. After washing the curtains, she will cook food for us to eat. But the beauty of it is, anything she cooks, we will eat it. Because she has to learn how to do little things, how to be responsible, run errands. Do you understand? You're my son. You know how to wash your clothes. You know how to clean the car. You know how to do things on your own. So let her learn too how to do little, little things. With time, she will appreciate it. And you appreciate me as your father. Don't worry. But Papa, I know what I'm doing. Hmm? she's not used to any of this. Try and understand. She'll break down. Ah, let her worry about that. And not you. You only have to trust me, your father. Okay? Trust me. I know what I'm doing.
drop the water, go and get me a fan. Can't you see I'm sweating? Eh? Will I eat under heat? Want me to suffocate? There's no light, and you know. What is this? Huh? Did you taste the food? Uncle, I don't... Shut know. up! The salt is too much, pepper is too much, look at oil here. The yam is not even done. Ah. Oh God. How come you don't know how to cook food? The simplest food. Eh? Yam porridge, you don't know how to cook. Even though there are my son knows how to cook 20 times better than this. What's your problem? No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, just, just, just shut up. Oh, you want to poison me? You want to kill me? Eh? How come you don't know how to do anything? You just decided on your own to be a sport girl. Food, you don't know how to cook, you don't know nothing. Imagine what you prepared. You just want to poison me. Eh? Come on, take this thing away. Take it away. Give me fire. You don't know how to do anything. Eh? Well done. You sweep very well. Clap yourself. What is it that you know how to do? Hmm? Look at the clothes you washed. Look at the neck. Look at the armpit. And this one, you ironed it. Look at the clothes you ironed. I don't understand. How will you understand me when you don't know? Is it not when you know something that you understand? You cannot understand me. I see you speak. Taka 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 taka. Is that how to sweep? Now you have to wash these clothes again. But I know what to expect. What did I tell you? I should wash them. You wash, and I know what to expect. Next thing is to pour bleach. No, let me teach you again. Bleach is for white clothes. Color clothes use only bar soap or maybe detergent. Not bleach. Because next thing now you spoil my clothes. You don't know how to wash nothing. I'm going out. On coming back, I want to eat onubu soup. Well prepared onubu soup. Anyhow you can manufacture it to do it well. Do it well. I won't go out and come back to eat nonsense. Do you hear me? Fine. What did I say? Did you hear me? Fine. Fine. Good. Clap for yourself again. Because this time you're going to cook good and correct ofunubu for me. I won't want to take porridge. But nonetheless, when I'm coming back, I'll buy the recycling. So this is the clothes. Go and wash it. If you like, bleach it. I don't want to learn. Not so fast. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Have you finished doing your house chores? Have you cleaned the parlor and everywhere the rooms? Yes, I swept it this morning. You swept? Did you use water and soap to dust and clean the whole place? No, no, no. Good. So drop the food until you finish and you're done with it. Then you come back and eat. Because I know if you eat, the next thing is to sleep, as always. 
Okay? So, cover the pots. Later, you eat after you're done with the hard chores. But, Namuku, I've not eaten since morning. Exactly. That's why I said finish with your hard chores, then eat. Let me see. Jesus Christ. This quantity of food all alone, quantity that I will eat about three times. No wonder you grow so fat like a grief fowl, brother, without brain. After eating, our next thing is to sleep. Let me clean the panel. I've dropped this in the kitchen when you're done working. Can carry the heat. What are you trying to do? Ew! This must be very harmful to your health. What do you think you're trying to do? Let me die. I'm tired of everything. I can't keep on living like this. Let me die and join my parents. And you think dying is the best option? Of what use is me being alive when I've already failed my parents? I've disappointed them. Just to let me end it all. Chinelu. Killing yourself is never the solution. You will only bring perpetual shame to your family. You can still make your parents proud. How? Your father has sworn to make me pay for all the things I've done to him. And he's not stopping at all. Chinen, so far, what I've seen my father do is chastising you for not doing what you're supposed to know how to do as a woman. Are you in any way supporting your father? No, I'm not. I've been against him all this while. All I'm saying is that if you had known how to cook the food, he wouldn't have had any reason to scold you. Again, I observe that my father always scolds you for not cleaning the house properly, nor washing the plate so well. Can't you see your father hates me? Can't you? Yes, he does. But I want you to show him that you can do all that he thinks you cannot do. Show me that you are not a failure. How? Let me help, sis. Let me help and disappoint my father by teaching you all that you need to know. Everything. Greeting people you see on the street, both people you don't know. Yes, you have to greet everybody you see on the way. It's one of the basic morals you need to learn. Eh? Yes. So I should be greeting everybody I see on the street, both people I don't know. Yes, because it doesn't take anything away from your body. It doesn't change your name. Salutation is a sign of respect, most especially to elders. 
So I should be greeting everyone I see on the street to vote people I don't know. Yes. Okay, I'll try. You have to try harder. <sighs> Let's go home. Let's go. I'll eat this of food. But before I start, you go to Ndoka's chemist. Buy me fragile, tetracycline, or any laxative. In case I start purging or feel any sign in my stomach, let me have something to drink. No, this one is better than the others. Shut up. I don't know which one that is better than which. Do you have test in your mouth? Your mouth that is salty or peppery, is that the, the mouth you use and tell me this one is better than that. Do you know the taste of a green? No, do you know the taste of crayfish? It's not better. It's not better than the other one. You have some change with you. You use it to rush down to Nuka's chemist, eh? But let me taste your soup first. The soup. Me, Namoku. It's a lie. Who prepared it? It's like you started paying people outside to come here and cook food, is it not? No, no. I can't do that. So who prepared this one? Because I know it's not you. Odera helped me. Then it's Odera that prepared it. No, he taught me. He taught you how to cook? Yes. And you cook this soup yourself? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Soup is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You see, you started doing well. You now know how to cook. You know how to sleep. You know how to wash your clothes. You have improved. Are you not happy? You see, hi. No move. He was excited. Are you sure he was just excited? Exactly what I told you. He was excited. Hmm. Are you sure that is a good sign? I don't know. You know, he has not been happy lately. It was really a complacent smile. Hmm. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. I have two or three more different kinds of food I'm going to teach you how to prepare today. I'm so excited. Thank you, Odera, for coming into my life. I was ready to die before you showed up. You have taught me how to cook, how to eat, how to, different kind of things, how to even sweep the house. I really appreciate. I'm grateful. I'm so happy you said this. Because that is what brothers do for sisters. In fact, you are a fast learner. Now, let's get to work. Ah, Oyerika. I'm so glad to see you. I've been looking for means to visit you since you told me that your uncle forbade you from leaving the house except you're going on errands. Yes. What a wicked man. Do you know you had to stick around the area waiting for that man to leave? That's why I'm even here. Oyedika, I've really missed you, Oyedika. I missed you too. Anyways, I came with good news. I was telling my elder brother about you and everything you've been going through. So he spoke with a lawyer friend of his who now told me that there's a way you can actually recover everything your uncle thinks he stole from you. How? He said since you're not up to 16 years of age that whatever they made you sign can be contested before a court and there's a high chance of you winning. 
you can claim that he forced you to sign the document and the court to believe you. Well, that's great. But you will not like what I want to tell you now, Oedika. I don't care about my father's document anymore. What? In fact, I thank God that my uncle did what he did. How would I have known how useless I was to my family, village, and society in general? Do you know I did not know how to do any domestic chores and I was so lazy about it. You tried making me too, but I hated you for it. And I really owe you an apology. Right now, I'm a changed person. Odera changed my life by teaching me all I ought to know how to do as a girl. Because of him, I can now cook, wash, eat healthy, shop wisely, and so many other things. I still don't believe this. Hmm. Also, take Papa. high five. Ah, Dimba. Papa. Hey. She said you're the one that taught her how to cook. Yes, so, Papa. How did you do that? She allowed you. Yes, Papa. You gave her no choice. She almost committed suicide because of what you did to her. What did I do to her? Well, Papa, aside from confiscating her father's wealth, all you did was chastising and reminding her how a failure she is as a young girl. Mm, that's good. Thank you, Papa. And so? So I took it upon myself to teach her since this is a time to learn. Oh, my son, you did well. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm mad. That's a good one. Thank it cannot. <laughs> hey, you tried. Thank, Thank you. you, Papa. Mm -hmm. you called? Yes, I called you, Chidemi. I called you because I want to apologize to you. You say I'm sorry. Over how I treated you, talked to you, and behaved to you. I know how disappointing it must have been over my sudden change in behavior. The aggressive nature of my approach to you. I know I changed from what you used to know of me to maybe a beast you never understood. But it is okay. I just want to say I'm sorry. Forgive me. Though it was a necessary action for good. But with time you will understand. Please, I'm sorry. Namuku, I don't understand. Don't call me Namupu. Call me your uncle. Okay? Chinelo, I made a promise to your late father that I'll try and bring you up to the best of my ability to be a responsible and then well behaved girl. And all along, I've worked so hard that even if it means going to the extreme to achieve it, I will do just that. And as it is, I think my job here is done. I have achieved a level of success. I want to say thank you to you. So now I want to return all that your thoughts are forcefully took away from you. I want to return them all back to you. You will what? Yes, you heard me, my daughter. Since Odera here, my son, has taught you all that you needed to know to be a responsible and well-behaved girl. I think my job here is done. So it's your duty to now choose who you want to be your guide. So I'll send what I cross to your kinsmen and to ours to come together. Uncle, you actually made me believe I've lost everything to you. No. I've never stopped beating myself up for that same mistake. Little did I know 
that my dear uncle has got my back all this while. I still can't believe. Do you? No. Papa, mm. you surprised me. Thank you so much for not disappointing us. Thank you. Thank you, Papa, for teaching us how to love and care truly. Mm -hmm. You have always been a good man, oh. Papa. Okay. I wish I had believed you when you asked me to trust in your but ways. But I told you. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle, for coming into my life. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. Thank you, my dear. going to? Myself and Dara, we are going back to the village. You are leaving? Yes. I made a promise to your father and I kept it. I've already sent words to your auntie in the village to come and stay with you. The documents you gave me for safekeeping is there on the table. Your father's property Wealth and everything that belongs to him are yours and yours alone. No body, no man who ever can take them away from you. Thank you. But, Uncle, I don't want the document. Why? Uncle, you and your son have made me a responsible child to my family, my village and society in general. What more can I ask for? Please, stay with me. Don't go. Everything that belongs to me equally belongs to you. Yes, Papa. I think she's right. We need each other to survive. Papa, if you ask me, I suggest we agree to our plea because I seriously need a sister. I'm proud of you, my daughter. I'm proud of you, my son. Thank you. I know my late sister and the husband, your father, will be proud that they left a responsible child, daughter in you. I will stay. Stand up. Thank you. Come, my son. I will stay. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Thank you. 